Hello traders, FS Pigletti here. Today is Monday, August 14th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the pound dollar, I still see this as an uptrend. It still looks like it's making higher highs, higher lows. I still believe it's going to go up and take out these highs and probably either be like a one, two, three, four, five of A or possibly like a one, two, three, four, five of wave one. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still believe this first set of trend is a wave one. I think this is an ABC of two. I actually think this is already in a wave three, and I believe anything we see to the downside is just going to be a crutch into this uptrend, and eventually it's going to go up to complete a wave three, four, and wave five. So let's keep all that in mind. Let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I have my Fibonacci retracement measure this move up. We've already passed the 78%, which to me is actually a very good sign that it is not over and that it's probably going to continue down. I think this is a 1-2. I think we're still in a wave 3 and we're eventually going to make a 4 and a 5 to finish off this move down. It probably is going to make a higher low compared to this back here, higher low, and eventually end up continuing that uptrend. So let's take it down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, we definitely got a pretty impulsive move up today as you can see, but I still believe that anything we see to the upside is going to be nothing more than a crutch into the downtrend, and I am definitely still primarily looking for sorts in a downtrend at the end of any pullbacks that I may see. So let's take it right down to the 1 hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, it kind of makes you wonder because this move up right here is definitely a trend. Kind of makes me wonder if that's an A. This move down looks more like a wave B to me. It kind of looks to me like this move up could be a wave C and it very easily could go up and take out this high. But then after it takes out that high, I think there's a very good likelihood it may just keep on trending down. I think this is probably like a one over here. We're probably in an ABC of two. And once this is complete, I think we're going to go down for that wave three. Probably a wave three of wave three by the looks of the longer time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord group. The link for that is on the, t on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.